Welcome to today's edition of Tales from the VHS Vault. Uh, but first of all, what are we drinking today, my friend? We're drinking Wing Kong Exchange Export Pilsner. Mm. <laughs> today we're going to be talking about when we first watched Day of the Dead on the good old dusty, smelly VHS tape. In the dusty, smelly basement. Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of people might have the same experience that we did, where we didn't really like Day of the Dead the first time we watched it. I think it's one of those things, again, where Dawn of the Dead spoiled it. And it's so different than Dawn of the Dead. That, and that's and I think thing. that's a big thing. You're expecting something as iconic yeah. as Dawn of the Dead, right? There's a bit of a hole left yeah. inside of yeah. you, right? You're like, oh, I, I really wanted like such an epic yeah. thing like Dawn, and he didn't get it. When we first watched it, I thought that the music didn't really work for the movie, and I thought the movie was pretty boring until the end to want to see more zombies yeah. i think right yeah. at the you know when we were young now it's one of my favorite favorite of all time zombie movies exactly. after watching it a, a bunch of times and rewatching it and getting older and appreciating things more it's got to be my oh yeah second or third favorite zombie movie of all time everything from like not liking the music the first time around. Yeah, now I love it's like the soundtrack. Yeah, it's it's great. The sense of claustrophobia that yeah. you're feeling, right? You get it. There's some great zombie designs in this. Yeah, there's some amazing, ten times better than Dawn of the Dead. Exactly. Yeah, Dawn of the Dead was pretty lackluster on yeah. that aspect. Yeah, just some blue dudes. Yeah. But in this, like in that opening scene where they're going into the city, into the town, all the zombies in that look. Fucking amazing. The commanding officer at the end there too, eh? That asshole, that fucking asshole antagonist yeah. guy. When he gets ripped to pieces. Yeah. That's incredible. That's like way better than Dawn of the Dead when that yeah. biker guy gets yeah. all ripped up. When he wants to go back to the... Yeah, the <laughs> art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He gets his, that's yeah. for sure. But George A. Romero is a fucking genius when it comes to story, putting big global situations. Yeah into a little bunker like this. Not only did he kind of create the modern zombie from Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, he, he, he builds upon that. He just doesn't leave it the same. He doesn't exactly. want to he doesn't want to do Dawn of the Dead again. Yeah. He he's doing something new. Keeps progressing. He's right? progressing and, and he's and the zombies are progressing, which is neat too. Like that's one of the reasons we didn't like the movie, because it wasn't enough like Dawn of the Dead. Yeah. But now, that's one of the reasons I love the movie, because it's so much different than Dawn of the Dead. Yeah, it's so much different. And then, I I like the fact that you don't see that many zombies. I like the fact that it's more humanized yeah. than more zombie-ish and, you know... Just shooting zombies for two hours. Exactly. The human aspect of it, how they deal with their yeah. own minds yeah. locked up in this fucking bunker. Yeah. And the thing is that he does a good job of continuously reminding you of the zombies with Bub. Yeah. It's like, you know, every time you see Bub, it's like, yeah, okay, now I remember there is a zombie thing going on, even though you don't see hordes of them. The characters in this movie, too, are like... Well, that's most of the movie. It's, it's yeah. so good. I, again, I didn't appreciate that the first time we watched it, yeah. how good the characters are. And I think when you're young, like, we were like, what, 10, 12 or something yeah. like that. You just, you, want just to see, don't... you just want to see zombies being shot in the head or whatever, you know. Exactly. It's like a Halloween 3 deal. Yeah. You just don't appreciate things. You don't see things for what you should yeah. when you're young, right? That's how it is. It was disappointing the first time I watched this movie. But it's funny that you mentioned it was still disappointing, but we still both bought it yeah. on VHS. Yeah, and then DVD. And then DVD after, yeah. 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 So, what's your experience the first time you watched Day of the Dead? Did you love it? Do you hate it? And what do you think of it now? Because we think it's fucking great. So until next time, enjoy your musty VHS tapes. And the musty basement. Keep drinking. We will be. Oh, 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 oh,